Hi guys, welcome back to Show Me Sherry. Today I have another home decor subscription box for you. It is the month of June and that is the month for summer home decor subscription boxes. Today I have for you Urban Farm Girl. I like that it says pretty things inside. Okay, so this is a surprise box for me. I have no idea what's in this box either. So this is the May Farm Girl favorites box. Okay, let me explain that. It is the May box and that's because they had some supplier issues. That's kind of going around in the subscription box world right now. Well, actually completely all in the world right now. As a matter of fact, my husband and I went to have a salad last night for dinner and um, we got our salad and it was missing some items. <laughs> If you're new here, I would like to welcome you. Um, my name is Sherry. I'm from the Show Me State of Missouri. I've got a lot of plans for the channel, so I'm, I'm really excited about doing this and I'm looking forward to uh, bringing you some fun content in the future. Um, drop your name and location in the comment section down below so that I can welcome you personally. Let me tell you a little bit about Urban Farm Girl. Urban Farm Girl comes out of uh, Rockford, Illinois. So that's not too far from um, where I live in Missouri. Illinois is pretty close. Um, this is obviously farm uh, farmhouse style decorating. Probably more, I would, I would assume, more on the modern farmhouse, but we're gonna find out. Um, this is a new to me box. They have two varieties of boxes. Actually, they have a lot of different stuff. So let me explain. Every month you can get either a mini box and that is $49 a month, or a signature box, which is $79. They say in both the boxes that the value is considerably more, so we're gonna be the judge of that when we get into this box. Um, there have been no spoilers, there are no spoilers. This is supposed to be a surprise box. They do not reveal anything that's going to be in their boxes, so it's, it's you know even more fun because you don't accidentally happen upon a spoiler when you don't want one. We have a summer 2022 bundle, and what that consists of is three mini boxes. And that is $132. Um, it would include a June mini box, a July mini box, and an August mini box. They also offer um, what they call a Farm, Girls, Farm Girl Favorites bundle for fall 2022. That's $148. And you will get two signature boxes in the fall. So I would assume it would be September, October. And then they also offer a Christmas Farm Girl Favorites box. That is also two signature style boxes and that would probably come November and December and that's $158. But the value is supposed to be a lot higher. So if you're one that really just only decorates for Christmas and would love to add you know, some new stuff for your Christmas decorating, be sure to check out that bundle. Same with, um, Harvest, fall time, if that's, your, if that's your favorite time of year to decorate, you know, check out that bundle. Um, it is not a subscription to where you um, are automatically su subscribed every month. So if you want to check one out, you can. If you want to wait three months to get another one, you can. Or you can just get one of those bundles that I told you about. There's, there's a lot of different options. Let's get into the box and see what we've got. I'm really excited. All right. Pretty things inside. Well, let's see. Here we go. All right. Let's open it up. Let's see what we have. Okay, I see something very interesting on top. It's very large um, print with some writing. Obviously, you can frame this. It says, wash the plate, not because it is dirty, nor because you are told to wash it, but because you love the person who will use it next. St. Teresa of Calcutta. That is beautiful quote. I, I have never heard that quote. And look at the really pretty um, floral design. The font that they used is very, very pretty. It looks like a brush stroke um, script and this could easily be framed. That's pretty, I really like that. What a great touch to add into the box. Okay, here's the cardstock that lists everything that's in the box. So I'll keep that handy, but I don't want to look at it because I want to be surprised like y'all. All right, let's get into the box. So we've got some bubble wrap, so they pack it well. That's always a good thing. And let's see, first thing I see 
is more bubble wrap. Let me pop, this is a big box, so I've got to get adjusted. Ah. Okay, there went the box. It's a very large box, so I'm gonna try to get through this as easily as I possibly can. Oh, wow. That's super cute. I've never seen anything like this. It's like pottery. Can you see that? It's like very um, neutral soap or, well, soap dispenser, I would assume. Yeah, soap dispenser, but it's a beautiful neutral color. I really like that. And you know, I was thinking about getting some new um, pumps for the kitchen. I recently replaced some in our master bath uh, and I was looking at some amber colored bottles, but I like these better. That is cute. Well, I say these, but this, I really like that. That's nice and very neutral. Okay, so far so good. Okay, let's see what they have to say about that. Um, natural soap pump. This is one of our very favorite items. See, that's the thing about this box. They include all their favorites every month in the box. Natural soap pump. This is one of our very favorite items. The color, the subtle texture, and matte black pump. This will be a beauty sitting next to your sink, and I agree. All right, let's see what's next. I'm gonna take out this big thing because it's, it's, I can see what it is and it's really neat. So it looks like we got a two-tiered, very heavily made, very sturdy, um, metal double basket. It's a nice small size that you can incorporate into your decorating easily. So let's see what they say about this item. It's a black wire two-tier basket, perfect for gathering sponges, brushes, and soaps at your kitchen sink or to hand roll washcloths on your bathroom counter. We are strong believers that functional items should be both pretty and practical, just as this is. And I agree, I think this is super cute. And if you're a coffee drinker, which I am not, but if you're a coffee drinker, wouldn't this be cute with um, Keurig pods? I like this, this is neat. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it. I guarantee you I will find a use for it somewhere. Okay, so let's get in and see what's next. All right. This is, looks like jute, maybe a trivet. Let's see what they say. Braided, it's really cute. Uh, jute pot holder. Texture is so important for keeping things interesting. Jute is very on trend for the season, so we were so happy to find this to add to the box. Used as a trivet or pot holder. It's a stylish accent for either use. Yes, I, I do like the texture in this. And again, it's very neutral, so it would fit easily in anyone's home decor. You don't have to be farmhouse. This could be any kind of decorating. Yeah, that's neat. I like that. There's one, two, three, four, five things in this box, and we've seen three, so let's see what else we got. I'm kind of seeing a theme. Ooh, sorry. So I'm kind of seeing a theme here. It's functional and practical items for the kitchen but decoratively. Oops, I put my finger in it. I know it's a candle because <laughs> my fingernail just went in there. You see my fingernail imprint right here? <laughs> and it is also a neutral stone, just like, the, um, just like the stone soap holder that we got. And nice little candle. Let's see what, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it's so fruity. I love this. <sighs> kind of peachy, kind of citrusy. Very fresh, very fruity. So let's see what it says. Oh, summer kitchen. Let's see what they have to say. Summer kitchen candle, so fresh and clean. This candle reminds us of summer. I agree with that. Hand poured right here in Rockford by our friends at Craft and Foster. We love the oval ring dish we found to use as the vessel. Once the candle is gone, you have another pretty yet practical piece to use to hold your rings next to the kitchen sink. I'm really liking this box. For our May signature box, 
we curated a box that was centered on the heart of the home, the kitchen. I thought I saw a trend. We focus primarily on helping to make your sink area pretty. I'm really liking the theme of this because you could decorate it really nice and pleasing to the eye, but it'd be extremely functional and practical as well. I think this is one of my new favorite scents. This is good, y'all. I think this box might still be available. I would highly recommend that you pick this box up just for the candle alone, but no, it's a good box. All right, we've got one item left. Okay, let's get into the last item and see what we got. Oh, that's cool. Oh my God, and it looks so real. Look at this. We got a faux succulent in a stone pot, like concrete, cement, and inside it has these little, the little tiny rocks, so it looks like you just planted it yourself. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me fix it a little bit, show you. That is realistic looking. Look at that. It looks like a healthy living succulent. That would be great next to the kitchen sink, wouldn't it? Okay, I like this. From the textured pot to the soft green leaves, we think this is a great looking faux plant. It's a statement piece in a small size. Yes, it is. It looks like we got a beautiful faux succulent plant, the cute little wire two-tiered basket, the natural um, stone pump, soap pump, the jute pot holder, and the summer kitchen candle. Look at that. Look how good those play together. It's another winner. Let me know down below what you think of the box and what your favorite piece is. I like it all. There isn't anything in this box I did not like. I would highly recommend this one. I can see the value here. So $79 for the signature box. The value is definitely here. These products are worth more than $79 any day of the week. They are very good quality. I can attest to that. This is, this is a good one. Good one, you guys. I would highly recommend checking out their website. Um, like I said, they're out of Illinois and they have lots of different options of different boxes. I think this would fit in lots of people's homes, not just farmhouse style. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Show Me Sherry. And until next time, Godspeed and many blessings.